you, you mentioned uh, filming and walking around asking people if they were married or not. How, how are you documenting this? Because this is just a whirlwind part of your life. How are you keeping track of it so that you can look back someday and go, wow, you know, we, we um we, we film everything and we um, take pictures of everything. Um, and like everywhere we go, everything we do, we film it. And um, I think um, one day we're actually um, making our new next record actually in a Gibson tour bus. They gave it to us, so we put a whole studio inside the bus, mm -hmm. and um, it has everything we need, like a grand piano, a drum set, and we've been recording our next album on the bus. And it's really cool because fans are like, every time it's outside the bus, they're kind of like, kind of recording with us in a sense. And yeah, it's really going really well, and um, it's just been awesome. So. Yeah, absolutely. I had uh, two brothers myself, and we were all so different. We would never do anything together. How did you all? <laughs> end, how did you all end up being uh, so musical? Um, it was. I think it was a family thing. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know, we just kind of grew up in music all our life, and then the minute, you know, each one of us started doing our own individual thing, Nick did Broadway, and then Joe started doing Broadway, and then I personally um, was homesick from school and didn't want to watch The Price is Right anymore, yeah. and so I picked up a Teach Yourself guitar book, and then I was rocking. Yeah. And that's how I did it, and that's how I started playing, and it was really cool. You're like, hey, can I get some backup vocals over here? <laughs> cool. So you're still having fun, and you're seeing the country. Are you seeing the world as well? Yeah, we will. Um, soon, sooner than later, we're going to be going international. I think so. our record releases in Japan, like in, in a month, December. Yeah. Wow. You're international to some extent. I talked to fans out there that drove up from Mexico. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they there did. There you go. Mm -hmm. High five. I gotta ask them something on behalf of all the ladies. Okay. You guys got girlfriends? You single? What's going on? Oh man, have you, have you noticed how a little bit we're busy? Girlfriends. <laughs> girlfriends don't like that much, but uh, no, I'm single. But we love girls. Yeah, <laughs> we really do. We definitely have the right job. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, performers will use that as their their single story. Well, I'm too busy, but you guys, I believe you. Yeah, I believe yeah. you guys. Really are too busy. <laughs> but we always make time for the special ladies. Make time Ooh. for the ladies. It was definitely <laughs> last night. The uh, the show after the show, there was like so many guys there last night. Yeah. Who were, um, who were just like the smartest guy in the room? Yeah, because you know there's like all these girls, and then then there's like the the five guys who just right in the middle of the room, like waiting at any moment, just be like, "What's your number?" I, I even called them out last night. I was like, "See these five guys right in the middle of the room?" And they're like, and the guys were like, "Yeah, you know, whatever." I'm like, "They have phones, and they need to be called, ladies. Give them your numbers." And they were like, what? "Our best friends. They were so happy. They're I like." We're, 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 good, we're good wingmen, you know? we yeah. got to shed love. Well, the only time I, in my radio career was just when I started doing this that I've seen this was right when NSYNC was starting to blow up. And I know you oh. guys are huge now, but it, literally that's the only time I've seen this oh, was, was right you. there. So it, it's going to keep going on. And, uh, and I, But I remember that phenomenon. A few guys figured out, go to NSYNC shows. Mm -hmm. It's shooting fish in a barrel. It, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, you know, we're really honored. It's just, we're so blessed. We have no idea what's happening to us right now. And we're just rocking with it. So, it's cool. And I like that you guys are still very nice. Oh, thank you very, very, very cool. much. The Jonas Brothers are in the house. Quick break. We do have to pay bills around here. We're going to bring in the fans. We're going to talk. We're going to bring in the side winner. We're going to let the fans ask some questions. And a live performance. You guys brought the guitars, right? Yeah. Yes, we did. Live performance still to come on the Playhouse. AJ's Playhouse. Don't you get sarcasm, genius. Oh, I think I get sarcasm. It's AJ's Playhouse, 8 o'clock straight up. It's going to be about 62 by the beach and 65 inland today. Hey, how are the crazy Jonas fans doing out in the parking lot, Cal? Man, I'm looking at the bushes that used to be in the spot that I'm standing at. You remember they used to be about, like, knee high, right? They are underneath my Nikes, man. They done trampled it over here. They try We're trying to keep the peace, but they're wilding out. They're having some fun. They got some questions. Yeah, we'll get to their questions. We've got some okay. cool guys everyone in the studio. That's but, yo, I'm trying here. to keep the peace. I keep telling them. The blinds are coming down, and they're going to look at my ugly mug for the rest of the morning if they don't keep trampling these little people out here. But they're, they're having fun. Kevin, Joe, Nick, you're going to be getting a landscaping bill, it sounds like. Oh. Um, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. The <laughs> bushes have been trampled in an effort to get, uh, to get closer to the guys. Uh, we were talking about you're recording the new album on your bus as you're doing your tour right now. Yeah. What's the uh, the collaboration process? Are You do guys do all your own stuff? Uh, you know, we write on, um, like, basically every song um, that awesome. we do. And uh, we worked with producer John Fields, who uh, did, you know, Swiftfoot, Rooney, uh -huh. um, guys. He did our last record, too. Cool. And uh, we met him, I guess, not even a year ago now. And we're already on this, working on the second record. So it's kind of a cool um, thing where we just really work together well. And uh, we have fun in the studio, and he's amazing, so. You guys got to uh, do any collabos? Jonas uh, Brothers featured T-Pain? <laughs> mm, oh, <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe 
there's, a song, there's because... a song that we're looking for a rapper on, so we'll see. Actually, there is. Really? really? We need, but we have to find out who's going to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. We're working on through who that. Do, who do you guys want? Um, we, we, honestly, like, we really don't even know yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're, who we're do you think would be a good... For you guys? What's, what's the vibe are you looking for? Like... Like fun. It's gotta like be. Tempo, gotta, like I want to say, yeah, Don't energetic, rush. young. It's because you know, because we're young guys, and so it's gotta be like bow wow. That's you know that I was. We were thinking like Omari and bow wow. Bow wow. He dropped the little. So There's still a little though. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find somebody. Bow wow. Yeah. I don't know who else. We're doing a, we're doing a bunch of like you know um big like. Radio show things, so maybe we'll meet a couple people. Yeah. Somebody, uh, doing that. Uh, we got some questions from some of your fans that are in here. Oh yeah. My man yes. Royce, come on up. How old are you, Royce? Um, I'm eight. Eight. What do you want to know from the guys? Out of all the songs, which one is your favorite one? Wow. Cool. Um, I think for me, Joe, um, I love a song called "Still in Love with You." That was on the past record, and I love to perform it live. It's really fun. Cool. Um, for me, Nick, uh, I think one of the fun songs to play live is SOS. I mean, it really, you know, gets the crowd going, and they, they like that song, so that's my favorite. Yeah. Nice. I definitely have to agree with SOS. It's definitely one of the songs that, uh, it's the most fun to play. It's just crazy, and everyone sings along. It's awesome. What about you? What about you, Royce? What's your favorite? My favorite is, um, Hold On, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> it is. That's good stuff. Yeah. How about a question from the parking lot, Cal? Who wants to ask Are you Are you ready for this? All right, I got a question. What's your name? Nina. Okay, go ahead and ask your question. What's it like to be famous? What's it like to be? What's it um, like to be famous? Um, busy. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're we're just we're just normal guys who get to do amazing things, and that's how it is. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, uh, when did you realize you were famous? Do you have a moment, or did it just happen <laughs> so gradually? When this this right here, this kind of stuff, this stuff is pretty. Awful. I think every day is a new thing where we kind of just look at ourselves and go, "What is happening in our lives?" And uh, you know, it's 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 amazing the things we're able to do, and um. It's just like every day, it's a new thing, so. What kind of, uh, what's the craziest merchandise you guys are on right now? Do you even know what you're on? Do you see someone walk by with a joke? Um, uh, there's a beautiful, out? I know our manager makes sure they see everything. Yeah, there's a beautiful pink uh, Jonas Brothers t-shirt in the room right now. <laughs> and we've got a lot of logos happening. Um, a lot of homemade t-shirts happen too. Um, I don't know how big, how do how well the scalpers are doing on this tour. I haven't really seen too many scalped t-shirts. Or right, bootleg. Or bootleg, that's what I mean. Good. Yeah. yeah, you don't want that. Fans making their puff paint shirts. That's cool. Scalpers all bad. Yeah. We've got a question over here. We'll take phone questions too. 570. We keep Sienna busy in there. We want the fans to come on. Uh, what's your name, dear? Yasmin. How old? Nine. What's your question for the guys? Do you guys like working together? <laughs> um, absolutely not. Yeah, you didn't see <laughs> the question. No, we love each other. <laughs> we have a great time, you know, either on stage or off stage. We love to hang out and perform. It's really fun, yeah. You guys are all about the fans, so let's keep the fans on here. Cal, get another question from outside. All right, I got another question right here. Here it is. Wait, back up, back up. What is your name? <laughs> My name is Gianna, and I'm from Hawaii. Go ahead, ask your question. Um, what do you guys like to do when you go home? And can you go to Hawaii on your next tour for my sister? Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, we, we have a pool, which is a, a, you know, a nice thing to do whenever we're home. And also, I think, you know, just go out and, like, go hang out with friends whenever we're home. Um, but we would love to go to Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that'd be let's awesome. Go to Hawaii. Sweet. I think they'd take that sacrifice and get out to Hawaii and see you guys. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. take a that wouldn't be a problem. Eight day tour through Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> do, do one doing show. One Island. show. Milk one, just one, <laughs> one show. <laughs> one show. Uh, Chelsea on line one. Good morning. Hi. Calling from Tierra Santa. What's your question for the guys? Um, I have a question. Um, who inspired you to write songs? Oh, who inspired you guys to write songs? I think it's a lot of different things. Um, whenever we have a strong inspiration to write a song, um, it usually comes out of uh, something that happened with a girl in a relationship, something like that. Or it's just, you know, hanging out with friends and uh, having a good time. It could be anything. But most of the time, it's girls and um, <laughs> how, how they make you feel. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> uh, you mentioned your friends and seeing them when you go home. How are you able to keep in touch with them when you're traveling? Uh, I chat. Yeah? I chat and... Uh, yeah. Do a lot of texting. Yeah. I'm not a big... I'm not a big... Uh, phone guy, like phone I'm, talker. I, I don't really like talking on the phone. Right. Um. So I, I'll text here and there, but I'm also really bad because I don't like long text conversations. So I'll write like two text messages and sound really into the conversation and get to respond. <laughs> I can relate to you. I have the same <laughs> texting habits. It's a little <laughs> difficult there. What's your name? Karen. How old are you? Eleven. What do you want to know? Um. Out of all your music videos, what was the funnest one to make? Ooh. Oh, very cool. Um. One that was really fun. Oh, they're all pretty fun, but I think 
one was um, Hold On was pretty fun to make because they had these huge fans that were um, that threw like we were in the middle of the desert when we did it and um, the house that we were in they, they built a house and they broke down the house and it like fell apart so that was just pretty awesome that's yeah. cool it fell apart mid performance which was pretty awesome yeah <laughs>